YouTube. Fight fans all over the world. It's your boy Real Talk Boxing. I'm back at you again. The Magic Man, Antonio Tarver, has signed and notarized a contract for the Trilla event going down April 17th of this year. Most of you guys don't even know who Antonio Tarver is. Some of you may. Just in case you don't know who he is. Former two-time Black Heavyweight Champion of the World. The first man to ever beat and knock out Roy Jones Jr. back in 2004, taking all of Roy Jones' belts. I had a special disliking for Antonio Torre for doing that because at that moment in time, I thought Roy Jones hung the moon. He was my favorite fighter at that moment in time. But over the years, watching Antonio fight, listening to his story, watching him in Rocky Six or five or seven or, you know, there's about 20 Rockies, but he was in one of them. And I became a fan over the years, man. I really did. I follow him on Instagram. Dude still looks good. He's in shape. He's still training. He's still working out. Now, <clears throat> the question is, who is he fighting? You know, when when Mike Tyson fought Roy Jones and they were doing the post-fight interview, Mike Tyson made a statement that, honestly, Roy Jones is the only one who answered the call, who said, hey, man, send me the contract. He said, we reached out to others. We're not going to name any names, but they were kind of acting funny. Mike Tyson said, Roy Jones is the only one who said for certain, send me the contract. Because Roy Jones can't say no. Well, Antonio Tova caught wind of that and he was like, yo, you didn't ask me. He posted on his IG. You didn't ask me. Laughing emojis. I would have took the contract just as fast as Roy Jones did. Hand raised emoji. You didn't ask me. Um, Tova's never, to me, struck me as a man or a fighter to stray away from a fight or money. See, Tarver's smart. He's not dumb. He saw the dollar signs when that exhibition went down. And he would have wanted to have been a part of it. But now he is. But the question is, who is he fighting? Is he fighting Mike Tyson on the Trilla event? Because, honestly, Tyson and Evander Holyfield, that's not factual. I mean, you have a lot of talks, posters, and videos, but nothing's etched in stone. And I, for one, do not want to see that fight. I've already explained it. I don't. I don't think Holyfield looks good. I don't think he's mobile. I don't think he's physically capable of doing a fight, let alone an exhibition. I just don't think he's capable of doing it. And it will be boring to the max. Mike Tyson needs someone in there, mobile enough and able enough to at least make the exhibition fight look realistic and somewhat entertaining. We all know Roy Jones. And Mike Tyson was staged. Some people really don't think so, but I really think so. But that's just my opinion. Um, I would much rather see Antonio Tarver in the ring with Mike Tyson because, I, like I stated, Antonio Tarver is still active. When I say active, I don't mean fighting, but he's sparring. He's training. Have you seen him as of late? He looks exactly the same way he did 20 years ago. I mean, he's aging gracefully, and he's still in shape, still have his wits about him, and he's ready to fight. He wouldn't be that much smaller than Mike Tyson. Antonio Tovar's probably 190 at the least, 200 at the most. About the same size as Roy Jones was when he faced Mike Tyson in the exhibition. So to make it look somewhat, somewhat entertaining and enjoyable and somewhat believable, you need fighters of that caliber who's still mobile, who can still move around, who still have the wits, their wits about themselves. Antonio Tarver is 52 years old, but he don't move like it and he don't look like it. Now, of course, Evander doesn't look like it. He's 58, Evander, but Evander moves like he's 65, 70. On the hand mitts, on the bag, no, it doesn't look good at all. But if he doesn't fight Mike Tyson, who is he going to fight? Well, honestly, I hope it's not an exhibition. It could be an exhibition, but I want it to be a real fight. Much like the last trailer event 
Jake Paul, Nate Robinson. It was a real fight, even though it was an exhibition. Because somebody got knocked out. We all know who that was. Then you had Badu Jack and the guy that he fought, don't know his name. That was a real fight. Even though Badu Jack chose to let off the gas and carry this man for however many rounds they fought. I believe it was eight rounds. But for the most part, there was real leather being thrown. Most definitely. So if Antonio Torres is not fighting Mike Tyson in the exhibition in the main event like I would really wish would happen or hope to happen. I want to see him in there with somebody around his age, somebody that's still active. Glenn Johnson, the Road Warrior, would be a great matchup. They already fought twice, and I know Glenn beat him once. And Glenn done fought everybody, including Roy Jones Jr. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, excuse me, Glenn Johnson was the second man to knock out Roy Jones Jr. after Antonio Tolbert. And Glenn Johnson has faced everybody, not only Roy, not only Antonio, Lucian Butte, Cole Frotch, Bernard Hopkins, Chad Dawson in his uh, prime. He's fought everybody and upset a handful of fighters. I'm talking about elite fighters. And I also follow Glenn Johnson on Instagram, and guess what? He's still active. He's still training. He's still sparring. He's in shape, running, and he still looks good for an old man. It's the retired fighters era, I believe. It's coming. So I'm glad that Antonio Torres is getting this opportunity. Now, I know a lot of us aren't into this Trilla event, this exhibition event, but I am. And I want to speak on this topic. Shout out to my man, Jake Frederico, for sending me the information on my Instagram page. Thank you, young man. I appreciate it. I'm excited about it. Some aren't, but I am. What do you think about Antonio Tolver being on the Trilla event? Coming up April 17th. Who is he going to fight? Is it Mike Tyson? I would rather see that than Evander Holyfield. Most definitely. Never mind my take on this, my comment, or my opinion. Comment down below and let me know what you think. As always, respect all, fear none. God bless. To the next time, Real Talk Boxing. We up. We out here, homeboy.